friends uh, welcome to techlek video tutorials this session i am going to explain about uh, what are the possible operations we can do with uh, partitions so earlier sessions uh, have covered on uh, types of partitions and uh, uh, what are the composite partitions like uh, sub partitions so this session i am going to explain about uh, what are the possible operations we can do with a partition so most of the developer or uh, administrator dba uh, people will get a uh, queries related to what are the operations we can do with the partitions so here i am going to explain a basic thing related to partition uh, possible operations so if you have a requirement to add a additional partition on existing partition table you can go for adding a partition new partition but when you are going for a new partition on existing partition table that partition table should not have a maximum value should not have a max value keyword so otherwise it will throw error dropping the existing table uh, a partition like if you have a 10 partitions if you want to drop one partition you can go for dropping a partition or renaming a partition from one name to another name or splitting one partition into multiple partitions that we call that split partitioning move partition that is uh, moving your partition data from one table space to another table space exchanging your partition data from one table to another table but uh, here you should remember thing that is when you uh, most of the developers will get a confusion move and exchange when you're talking about moving your partition that is uh, you are moving your partition data from one table space to another table space okay remember this one table space to another table space exchange is exchanging your partition data from one table to another table but again one more thing you need to consider here when you are moving from one table to another table the target table should not be partition okay because the target table should be non partition table or non cluster table so if target table is a partition table we can't exchange the data right? because this exchange concept is you are exchanging only partition data not a partition okay you are exchanging only partition data from partition table to non partition table so remember this so let's start with this i have a two tables uh, one table with a partition here you can see employee table with the four partitions range partitions i'm going to create this table then i have another table without a partition employee two then i'm inserting a four records for each one each partition to show the examples here four records has been inserted commit the data let's start with the one by one so if you want to fetch particular repartition you can use the partition keyword and select statement so for p2 i have a 11 record imply number and the name you can see here let's start with adding a partition let's start with uh, here the syntax is like this alter table table name add partition partition name values less than and the maximum value whichever you want to less than that you can specify that let's run this see here table has been altered so new partition has been added into a table you can re-verify your table structure whichever is uh, available in your database level here i can see if the partition has been added in the max value is f for this partition then dropping a partition so i want to drop the p4 partition the syntax is like this you can see alter table table name drop partition partition let's run this so partition has been uh, removed from this table you can refresh this see p4 partition has been removed from this table same thing for renaming a partition so i want to rename from my partition p3 to p6 so here the syntax is like this alter table table name rename partition from to new name okay let's run this I'm going to rename my partition P3 to P6. You can verify the table level. See, P3 has been changed to P6. Only we change the name, but uh, the whatever uh, less than value is there, 30. Okay. Same thing for truncating a partition data. So I have a P6 partition. I have a data you can see here. This is the Vikrant and the employee number 21. So I want to truncate only this data, not entire table data. So what I can do? alter table table name truncate partition partition name so i am going to truncate only p6 partition data not entire table data so now you can truncate this 
truncate has been completed that is alter table completed now we can re-verify this query so it is truncated only p6 partition data but data is available in this table for other partitions you can read check and confirm see data is available for other partitions only p6 partitions have truncated then splitting a partition from one partition to multiple partitions the syntax is like this alter table table name split your partition your partition name and uh, from where you want to split i want to split at 15 value so p2 partition value is uh, 10 to 20 right so 10 to 15 one partition and 15 to 20 another partition i want to create so when you are talking of the split p2 has been splitted from values 10 to 15 one partition that is a p21 15 to 20 values p22 that is the value I have to specify here at 15 i want to split at 15 i want to split into two partitions let's run this table has been altered now we can verify the structure see p2 partition has been split into two partitions one is a 15 other one is 20 so this is the way we can go for splitting a partitions then exchanging a partition so you are exchanging a partition data from one table to another table as i told here employee table is uh, having some data i want to uh, exchange my data from p21 partition to new table called employee table so the syntax is like this alter table table name exchange partition partition name with the table new table name which table you want to move those data let's run this so before running if you want to verify the data available in this table you can verify this there is no data in this table now i am running this table has been altered now you can verify this table see that p21 partition data is moved to new table employee 2 and uh, there is no partition in this table remember this so when you are exchanging data from one table to another table target table should should not be a partition okay let's move the data from one table space to another table using the move partition the syntax is like this alter table table name move partition from that is your partition name to our table space and a new table space okay table space is the keyword that is move partition your partition name to your new table space i'm moving here so you can uh, verify your existing uh, table spaces default it is storing at uh, users table uh, space see this is the p1 the partition p21 it is storing in uh, users table space right let's run this now you can re-verify this see my p21 partition has been changed to new table space called the sys aux so like this we can go for exchanging that is you are you are changing your table space to new table space that is called moving your partition data from one table space to another table space like this we can go for using the options in partitions so thank you for watching my videos uh, please uh, subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates my channel Thank you very much.